I wanted to showcase this um, bird feeder house thing that I built over the height of the winter pandemic period. Uh, clearly I had time on my hands. I didn't finish yet. Um, I do have to stain it more. Um, but what I did was, this is mainly made out of paint stirrer sticks. So I have roof flashing at the top and I mostly used wood glue and hot glue. Um, I definitely need a bigger hot glue gun so if you're definitely getting into projects like this, get a bigger glue gun. Um, I kind of messed up here <laughs> so the ruler measurements should have been turned in but it, it was already stuck on so I couldn't do anything about it. So this thing is pretty modular. Um, I got, I started out basically wanting to do more of this. So have an area where smaller birds like the chickadees wouldn't get overrun by the bigger birds and stuff. But um, then it just grew into this monstrosity. It really was only supposed to be this. Um, and it just kept going. <laughs> so um, I was going to take it to work, but I figured I'd keep it for this winter. And I'll just, since I won't have much of anything out here compared to, you know, obviously I can't grow too many plants. Um, this will be something for the birds. I'll prop it up on a higher table and um, let them go at it. So the way I built this is inside it's a little flexible but I can remove this so these little pokies sit set into these channels there. Then this wasn't design, designed in advance, it just kind of went along as it did. So this will be the platform for um, the bigger birds to kind of swoop in and get their food um, with little landing, landing pads there. And this comes off. Yikes. Need two hands. Oh, I just heard my fountain turn on. Sun's coming out. Okay, so this is the inside. And these are Lexan clear, uh, clear plastic sheets that are pre-cut. Um, I don't know, they ran about six to eight bucks at Lowe's. They're called optics. The, it's a little frosty, but it peels off. I don't want I didn't want to peel it off yet until I'm ready for it and um, so basically it allows me to get in there clean it and I don't know if I might have to make some of these squares a little bit smaller for the birds but they have like landing areas there and I get to watch them while they're protected and these things pop off too it's basically everything that's here this comes off this comes off it's just set in channels um, and I'm using these. I got this one here on sale at what the hell is that place? Walmart. But the thing was, this is not outdoor. So I started off with that and realized it wasn't outdoor. And then I got the Vals Bar from Lowe's Canyon Brown. I think this is about four to six bucks. So this is all weather, rain ready. So I have to redo it and paint all these exposed bare ones, bare pieces of uh, paint sticks. And that other, this is uh, ugly, it didn't spread well, the one from Walmart. That was a Rust-Oleum. So that is my bird feeder for the winter. <laughs>